everybody, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Boy, do I have an outstanding guitar, and it's something very different than what we usually have in the shop. Uh, we got this guitar from a single owner, uh, or the original owner here in Des Moines, Iowa. He had this guitar built for himself. He was a teacher here in town, uh, and uh, he absolutely loved this guitar. And uh, it showed up in my shop, and I had to do some research to figure out just exactly what it was that he had purchased. This is a 1999 String King Mac 1, uh, a McAfee style guitar. Now, I've had people who play McAfee gu guitars, and they say, Lawman, that is not a McAfee. I said, I know it. However, it's a McAfee style, and lots of things that we'll talk about here in just a minute. But uh, I want to tell you that it was made by a man by the name of John Moscone, uh, who's over in Ohio. And I actually spoke to him, and he says, oh, I remember that guitar. He's only made one like that. And well, he did a really nice job. He says, yeah, I had some materials around that I wanted to use on it. And that's what he did. He used a, a cedar for the top, and he had this beautiful Brazilian rosewood. I mean, oh, talk about gorgeous woods. And he says, you know, it was probably better woods than I probably should have put into the guitar. But he says, I just, I wanted to use it in that guitar because I thought it was going to work. And it just absolutely does. It's absolutely beautiful. And with the cedar top, it's just one outstanding looking guitar. Now, from there, uh, he used also uh, beautiful materials from there. Uh, he built, uh, built the fretboard out of ebony, which, as you all know, I love ebony uh, on my fretboards. But he also used ebony to uh, hand create his tailpiece. This is uh, a one... Uh, design tailpiece. He only uh, uh, made this for this one guitar and he never used it ever since from my understanding and it's a really cool looking style with the uh, very pointed uh, uh, bridge saddle, uh, bridge and saddle here that's very reminiscent of a McAfee style as well as the oval uh, uh, on the uh, uh, sound hole. From there he used these really cool Grover, uh, very high-end Grover uh, tuners with uh, uh, these really neat wood looking uh, buttons. Those may even be wood. Uh, but it's got a nice, uh, 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 beautiful uh, neck on it that, that just feels just great and uh, a nice little uh, wood piece here at the, at the base and uh, never had another strap button put on it except the one on the end. So uh, this guitar is absolutely unmolested and almost virtually unplayed. I have to say when I got it, I started looking at it and it has pretty big frets. Uh, I want to say that the frets are large on this guitar <coughs> and virtually, virtually unplayed. So uh, the, the guy who had it had many, many guitars. I think he bought guitars he liked, but uh, he just didn't have a chance to play them all. Uh, so it's, it's been very, very lightly, if at all, played uh, guitar. Now the guitar sounds really nice. I'm not a McAfee style guitar player, so uh, you have to use your imagination a little bit. <laughs> but the nut, let me tell you too, the nut is one and seven eighths inch wide. So it's a very large uh, feeling neck in the width. Not so much uh, in the depth. It's actually kind of got a shallow C to it. Uh, so it kind of makes up for me uh, having that little bit wider uh, nut shape uh, or nut uh, distance with the little thinner uh, neck going this way. So it just feels really, really good in the hand. <laughs> So the neck angle is very, very nice. You know, it's certainly not strat low, uh, but you wouldn't expect a guitar like this to have that. Uh, and it just, it just plays great. It's got a, a 25 and a, a quarter inch scale neck. Uh, the body is 15 and 3 16 inch wide this way, and it's got a four inch depth to it. Now, of course, the body is completely bound as well as the neck. The neck is also bound. It's got side uh, markers, which some, some of these custom guitars don't actually add uh, little markers for you. Uh, the builder, uh, John, did on this guitar. I'm happy to see that. And uh, with the cutaway, I mean, it just, it just plays great. I mean, I just love playing this guitar. <laughs> Thank you. 
has really opened up yet. It still sounds a little stiff to me. Even though it's a 1999, I just don't think it's been played. I mean, someone who's going to play this guitar, I think this body is just going to respond very, very well. Because I just, I don't think it's even opened up yet. I'm, I'm getting feelings that it, it wants to. overly loud. I mean, this would be a really nice guitar to play with a singer. Uh, you're not going to dominate the, uh, the vocals with a guitar like this. A lot of the, your Martins will dominate vocals, which I think is why so many people like Taylors. They're not nearly as loud as a Martin. This guitar, I'd put it more in the line of a Taylor. Uh, it just has a very sweet sound, uh, and it's, it's full but sweet, uh, so it's got some character to it, and uh, I like the sound. It's only going to get better as we go. So, cool guitar. Now, uh, we have the original case that came with the guitar, and it's just in nice a shape as the guitar itself. Uh, nice hard shell case. Of course, it's newer like the guitar. Um, inside, uh, oh, that's pretty. It's got a nice royal blue interior. Uh, accessory box is here, uh, and the plush is still nice and plushy. Uh, your uh, back restraint strap is still on it. All your hinges are on it. Nice original handle. You know, it's a newer case, but it's a nice newer case. So, uh, you know what? If you've been looking for a guitar that's a little bit different, something that uh, maybe you might want to try a little different style playing, I'm not telling you it's a McAfee guitar. It's a McAfee style guitar. And uh, you know what? You might enjoy that guitar. And it certainly has beautiful, beautiful woods in it. And it's only going to continue to sound better and better as time goes on. So check in on all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com. Thanks for watching.